Hey, what's going on everybody? We got another video here for you. Today, we're gonna go over the TurboRip software. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, when TurboRip is first open, we wanna make sure we change it from a Model X to a Model X2 file. Now up here on the right, resolution. This is the color resolution pass. This is going to affect how much color ink you put out. 4 pass, 8 pass, or 16 pass. Now keep in mind, if you need something high detail, more photorealistic, bright vivid colors, you're going to want to go with that 16 pass. Next up, we got our platens. You can choose everything from your large, medium, small, hat, shoe, whichever you're going to be printing on. Next up here, we got the ink drop size, small, medium, and large. This depicts how big the actual ink droplets are coming out onto your garment. Blocky letters, simple designs, you're okay to leave that on large. If you're going with something for a lot of transitions, gradients, I would definitely recommend putting this to small. Next, we're going to go ahead and drag in an image. Now up here, the size and positioning is where we can adjust the size of the image itself, the position on how far down and how far over the image is from the edges. And we can also center it horizontally, center it vertically, and rotate the image. Now here under background is where we can kind of play with the borders or pulling out individual colors. If we click on transparency, go to select border color, we can then select that black and adjust the color tolerance to try to pull out as much black as possible. Now, if we go back to select color and choose black and adjust the color tolerance, we can pull all the black from the image. You'll see that it's being removed from the eyes and the cheeks and other various areas of this image. Now, this isn't exclusive to the color black. When we select color, we can select red, orange, blue, and adjust that color tolerance as long as we're under select color, and it will remove that color from the image. Where this option really shines on select border color is if we have a JPEG image with a white box background, we can go ahead and pull that box background by selecting the white on select border color and raising the color tolerance. Now, as you can see this white background with the grid on it, this is indicating we are printing on a white shirt. If we head over to white ink settings, we can click add white underbase so we can go ahead and print on a dark colored shirt. Now we do have a couple other options up there. We have the print white only, a little self-explanatory. It'll only print your white underbase. And you see that grayscale is checked. When that is checked, it will print a lighter amount of white underneath darker colors and brighter colors. It will increase the white. As you can see here, we have another resolutions tab. This is dedicated solely to your whites on how many passes that you're gonna do on that white underbase. You have four and eight. If you're doing a lighter t-shirt, lighter color t-shirt, lighter garment, you can get away with four, but if you're gonna do a dark garment, especially black, you might wanna stick to that eight pass of white. Next up, we have brightness and opacity. I recommend leaving this at default. You can just adjust between eight and four passes, but if you wanna go ahead and play with that, make small adjustments at a time to see how it affects your garment and your environment. Next here, we have choke. Choke can be a very helpful and useful tool. If you print an image, especially on a dark garment, you will notice 
any white that's going beyond the color layer, you can go ahead and increase your choke to tighten up that white spray so you don't have any white underbase overlapping the color. This next area here, you're gonna be able to change the white under each individual color so you can darken or brighten that specific color. I'll go ahead and move this slider on the colors and you can go ahead and see what the effect does. Next we have this add white highlight check here. If we go ahead and check that box, you can see we can move this slider. What this option actually does is it will enhance and brighten the exposed whites on your print, on your image. It will not add more white as an underbase. What it does is as the color comes down like so, it will add white to the exposed white of the image. All right, now we're ready to create the print file. Once we click print up at the top, it will ask if you want to save your design. You can choose yes or no. You can name your image and it begins to rip the image. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and move it over to a flash drive and print your image. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to shake those whites. We'll catch you in the next one.